Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x, this is equal to 8 to the power of x. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. Now we have 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x, we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, this is equal to 8 to the power of x, we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x. The next step is that 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x and 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x, this is in the form of 8 to the power of n raised to the power m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. So let's apply this exponent property so that we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x raised to power 2. This is equal to 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 3. The next step is that we let 2 to the power of x be equal to u. So that now, here we have u plus u squared, this is equal to u to the power of 3. The next step is to take u plus u squared on the right hand side. This implies we have u to the power of 3 minus u squared and then minus u, this is equal to 0. The next step is that u is common here, we can factor out u so that we have u squared minus u minus 1, this is equal to 0. So in this case, we have two parts here, we have u is equal to 0, and we have u squared minus u minus 1, this is equal to 0. Now, u is equal to 0, and you find that Remember that x is not equal to 0 in this case. So this part where we have u is equal to 0, this part is rejected. So let's proceed with the second part here. So this is a quadratic equation of the form au squared plus bu plus c. This is equal to 0. So we can solve for u1, comma u2 by applying quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here divided by 2 times a. So here we have, from this quadratic equation, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, and c is equal to minus 1. So let's substitute a, b, and c. So we have minus, minus 1, plus or minus the square root of minus 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is minus 1 everything here divided by 2 times 1 so here we have minus times minus 1 this is 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 1 squared this is 1 minus 4 times minus 1 this is plus 4 everything here divided by 2 so this means that here we have 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4, this is 5, divided by 2. Now we have u1, comma u2, this is 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. This implies that u1 is equal to 1 plus square root of 5, divided by 2. And we have that u2, this is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So if you recall, we are saying that let 2 to the power of x be equal to u. So let's substitute this. We have 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. On, the, on this side, we have 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. 
So we find that 2 raised to the power x, this will give us a positive number from here. And we find that on the right hand side, this is a positive number. So we can proceed to solve for x in this part. 2 to the power of x, this is positive. But to find that on the right hand side, 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2, this is a negative number. So in this part, we cannot proceed to solve for x from here. So this part is rejected. Let's proceed with this part here, which is 2 to the power of x. This is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm. That is log 2 to the power of x. We introduce on both sides. So this is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So that now, log 2 to the power of x, this is in the form of log a to the power of n. This is the power root property. This is equal to n log a. Applying this power root property, log 2 to the power of x becomes x log 2. This is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now you find that log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, this is in the form of log a over b, which we can express as log a minus log b. So let's apply this logarithm property so that we have x log 2, this is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5, subtract log 2. The next step is to divide both sides by log 2. And also here, log 2, we have also here log 2. So let's simplify here, so that now we have x is equal to this is rog 1 plus square root of 5 divided by rog 2. Subtract rog 2 and rog 2 simplifies. So this is minus 1. Now you find that rog 1 plus square root of 5 over rog 2. This is in the form of rog A over rog B, which we can express as rog A to base B. So let's apply this logarithm property from here. Applying this property, then x is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2, then minus 1. So this is the value of x from here. This is the value of x. The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So if you recall, if you recall, we end that 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x, this is supposed to give us a value of 8 to the power of x. So let's substitute x here so that we have 2 to the power of rog 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2 minus 1, then plus 4 to the power of log 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2, subtract 1. This should be equal to 8 raised to the power of log 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2, subtract 1. We can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2, and we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3. Now, we have 2 raised to the power of rho, 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2, subtract 1 here, then plus. Here we have 2 to the power of 2. Now we have rho, 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2, minus 1. This is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Into the parentheses, this is rho, 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2 subtract 1. The next step from here, we have that. Let's open the parentheses here and here. 
so that we have 2 to the power of rho 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2 subtract 1 then plus this is 2 to the power of now we have 2 rho 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2 then 2 times minus 1 this is minus 2 and this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 3 times rho 1 plus square root of 5 so this becomes 3 rho 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2 then subtract 3 times 1 which is 3 the next step is that 2 to the power of rho 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2 minus 1 this is in the form of a to the power of n minus m which we can express as a to the power of n over a to the power of m so let's apply this property so that we have 2 to the power of rho 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2 divided by 2 to the power of 1 then plus 2 to the power of this is a power so we can express this as rho 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 2 which is equal to 4 then this is equal to now this is equal to 2 to the power of this is rho 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 3 to base 2 divided by now this is 2 to the power of 3 now here we have 2 to the power of rho 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2 divided by 2 then plus 2 to the power of rho 1 plus square root of 5 squared to base 2 divided by 4 this is equal to 2 to the power of rho 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 3 over 8 now you find that this is in the form of a to the power of rho b to base a and this is equal to b so this implies that 2 to the power of rho 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2 this is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 the same case here we have 2 to the power of rho 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 to base 2 here this is the same thing as 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 and lastly here we have 2 to the power of rho 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 3 to base 2 this is the same thing as 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 3 so let's substitute this now we have 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 plus 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 here divided by 4 this is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 3 over 8 so the LCM is 8 here so let's multiply everything by 8 here so that now if we simplify here 8 divided by 2 here this is 4 so we have 4 multiplied by 1 plus square root of 5 then plus we have 8 divided by 4 this is 2 so we have 2 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 8 and 8 simplifies so this is 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 3 which we can express as 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 times 1 plus square root of 5 now from here we have that 4 into the parentheses 1 plus square root of 5 plus 2 we can express 1 plus square root of 5 squared as 1 plus square root of 5 times 1 plus square root of 5 here this is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 into the parentheses 1 plus square root of 5 so 1 plus square root of 5 is common here so we can factor out 1 plus square root of 5 into the parentheses here we have 4 plus 
2 into the parentheses 1 plus the square root of 5. This is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2 times 1 plus square root of 5. The next step is to divide both signs by 1 plus square root of 5. And also here, 1 plus square root of 5. So this simplifies so that now we have 4 plus, let's open the parentheses here. So 2 times 1, this is 2, plus 2 times square root of 5, this is 2, square root of 5. And this is equal to, now here we have 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2. So here we have 4 plus 2, this is 6 plus 2 square root of 5. This is equal to, now, 1 plus square root of 5 raised to the power of 2. This is in the form of a plus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Let's apply this algebraic identity so that we have 6 plus 2 square root of 5. This is equal to 1 squared plus, now, square root of 5 squared, then plus 2 times 1 times square root of 5. So here we have on the left hand side 6 plus 2 square root of 5. This is equal to 1 squared is 1, then plus, so we eliminate the square root sign. This is 5, then plus 2 square root of 5. So this implies that 6 plus 2 square root of 5 on the left hand side. This is equal to 1 plus 5. This is 6 plus 2 square root of 5. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that the value of x, which is rho 1 plus square root of 5 to base 2 minus 1, satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.